My name is Angela Guinness. I'm a senior tax manager at Gallagher Flynn. Today I'm going to talk to you about sales tax nexus, which has been a hot topic amongst the business community ever since the Supreme Court overturned the physical nexus requirement. Nexus is the term we use to describe a connection with a state. All states have different definitions of nexus, but most say that a physical presence or an economic connection with a state creates nexus. Physical presence is if you have an office, a warehouse, affiliate, inventory, or an employee in the state. So Amazon has created a lot of buzz in the area of physical presence. If your company is using fulfillment by Amazon, this means that you store your inventory in Amazon's warehouses. So any place that Amazon has a warehouse, you now have a physical presence in that state. It's also really important to note that this could also create an income tax filing requirement in those states. Economic nexus was what was upheld in the recent court case this past June in the South Dakota versus Wayfair case. What this means is that a state can now tax you if all you have in a state is sales to customers in that state. The law still states that you must have substantial nexus with a state. South Dakota law says that you need to have 100,000 in sales or 200 separate transactions. A lot of the states are following suit with this because they know that this constitutes substantial nexus as per the Supreme Court ruling. There are a few other ways that internet sales can create nexus. Click-through nexus is a little complicated, but what this means is if you have a referral agreement with another company and they refer you sales for some sort of commission or consideration, this can create nexus in the other company's states. Usually how this is done is by a web link on one of the company's websites that links to the other company's website. Affiliate nexus is when you have an affiliate or related entity in a state that has a significant enough presence to give you nexus. A marketplace nexus is established if you have a marketplace that operates in a state may have e-commerce infrastructure, customer service, payment processing, and marketing. What this means is that the marketplace facilitator must be the one to register, collect, and remit sales tax to the state versus the individual seller. Figuring out where you have nexus is just step one. The next step is you must determine if you have a taxable sale in a state or an exempt sale in a state. You also must determine if you're a wholesaler, whether you need resale certificates from your retailer, or if you're a retailer and you need to be providing resale certificates to your wholesalers. Once you have determined this, you must now register and file in all the states that you have sales tax nexus. It's also important to note, if you have sales that are exempt in a state, you still may be required to file a return. Sales tax is a complicated area and can become a burden administratively for your company. Please contact me at any time with any of your questions and I can help you find the right compliance solution for you.